All right, let's keep going. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're playing the Commonwealth here in the Open of Versalis 4. This is us and our protectorates and our colony and a couple vassals. We are currently annexing Korea. He'll finish in seven years' time, assuming everything goes as planned. And we just declared war on Ming because it's going to take a couple more wars to annex this bastard. He doesn't have that much land left, but... It's all pretty high base tax, like fours and fives. There's a seven down here, and there's a ten, well, that's a six, and then a ten base tax. I mean, it's a lot of base tax, so he won't just annex. Anywho, we're going to try to vassalize him in a couple wars. If we can, that's great. If not, oh well. Same thing with Sean. I guess we could go in here and try to... No, you know what? I'm just going to ignore Sean. Fuck Sean. I was going to say, we can conquer like half of Sean. Most of his land is very low base tax. Three, two, 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 three. It's all very low base tax. So we could come in here and conquer most of it with this wonderful CB. Um, let's just call it Conquest. But yeah, it's Overseas Expansion CB. It makes the conquer cost 50% of what it normally would be. So it's very cheap. But I think we'll just ignore Sean for this time around. And uh, we'll deal with them in a future war. Anyway, keep on keeping on. Let's get you up here. We have claims on these four provinces. So those are the ones that we're going to take in the peace deal. It should bring us right up around 70 war score and about 100 overextension. Just under 100, of course. At least that's what I'm hoping. Should be under 100. Should be right around 100. Do I need a general? Probably not. Just start sieging stuff. I don't care about this little stack of 11 or 12 or 13 or whatever the fuck he has. It's not going to bother me. Actually, you know what? I will go kill it. Because I'm that vindictive, damn it. Give me this 5-4 general of awesomeness and we are going to go crack some skulls, baby. Wait, what are you? Oh, you're these ships over here. Right. <laughs> like, what are you? What are you? Oh, rebels. Really? Ming revolutionaries just spawned on my face. Get out of here, Ming. Now, Sean is westernizing, and that does bother me. So, maybe we should siege him up? I don't know. It, it won't stop him westernizing. Uh, the only thing that's going to stop him westernizing is rebels. Oh, he's actually sieging me. Get out of here, you little bastard. Hello. I don't need a general to kick your ass, so there you go. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, conversion successful. Keep converting. We'll do the difficult ones first, because why not? The conversions are going very well. Wow, lots of revolutionaries. We just killed another revolutionary army that spawned on us up here. Bengalese nationalists. Oh, get over it. You used to have a nation, and then I annexed you. Shut your trap. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. That'll be... Yeah, we're one year ahead, but... Eh, not that bad. So we're at level 25 admin. Next level, we're going to get another idea group. Have to think about what we want for that. Um, actually, yeah. <laughs> what the hell do we want for that? Probably take an admin one. Either we don't need economic. We really don't need economic. We'll go for innovative, I guess, for the cheaper tech. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Is admin anywhere? Mercs. Nah. Cheaper core creation might be nice. It's like mercs. I don't use mercs. Interest. More mercs. More advisors. Reduce inflation costs. And production efficiency. I mean, th this just seems utterly useless. The only thing I like is that. Cheaper core creation. Everything else is bullshit. <sighs> Espionage, embargo efficiency, spy defense, sabotage reputation, more diplomats, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's not that amazing. I like this, though. Infiltrate administration so you can see the enemy unit's movements, but eh. I think we'll go for innovative for the um, tradition decay and the cheaper tech. But otherwise, it's just don't need it. <laughs> what else are we going to use our admin points on? We're making so many, we're making 10 admin points a month. 10 a month. What are we going to use them on? 
You know? Gotta use, gotta use them on something. Alright, Diplomat is home. Does anyone need a hug? <laughs> Japan's invading uh, Hokkaido. You know what? Let's get relations up with Japan, because I'm sure they're not happy. Actually, let's get relations up with Manchu first, because I'm sure they're not happy with us. And I am going to have to go annex and core all that crap, because he's still a horde. He hasn't reformed his government. Ah, yes. Why don't you move up? Why don't you come to the coast? That's a good lad. Why don't you go to Avignon? Avignon! Avignon? And you can split up and head to Zealand. Whatever. Just kind of split up. Don't don't coalesce. Don't congregate. Don't group up. I wish I could see more. Then we could colonize. Uh, basically, now that we're here, I want to make a wall of colonies just straight up. But I can't see anything. And I don't have quests for the new world, so I can't just walk up there with the freaking conquistador. Or else I would. Japan is going to lose a lot of land over here, which is good. I want them to get small so I can vassalize them. So just carpet siege Ming. It'd be great if you could see the westernization progress of a nation. But I don't see a progress bar anywhere. I wouldn't know where to look. Oh, one of our generals died. Darn it. 3-3. Three, three. Nah, he's not very good, but whatever. It's better than nothing. So France, here's, here's a great example. We have almost perfect tradition. And when I request a general, I get a 3-3. France, who probably has perfect tradition just like us, he has two 6-6s six and he has a 5-6. That's absurd. Netherlands declared war on Liège. Uh, really? Does Liège have allies? He does. Okay, well. Looks like Netherlands is in for a war. I wonder if they can win that. Do I still have a claim on you? I do. I have a claim on Netherlands for another five years. Yeah, I don't want to declare war, though. He'll come in when we declare on Spain. And we might actually take Aachen. I don't know. I kind of want to remove the Netherlands from the old world. They don't deserve to be here. They have no right being in the old world. <laughs> uh, goodness. Wow, these provinces are falling so fast. Y'all want some access? You got it, bros. Oh my goodness. Wow. The Netherlands is bringing in all the heavy hitters. He brought in Great Britain and now Spain. So what's the cost to vassalize? 270. So it's going to be this war and then two more wars just to vassalize him. Goodness.
get relations up with uh, Japan. Still can't see this up here, so I can't really go north. But Portugal's not there yet. Hopefully we'll get there first. Who knows? Hurry up with the damn sieges. These are the two I have cores I have claims on. Alright. Come on now, finish it up. We're almost done. Fifty percent chance. You better fucking succeed. There we go. Okay, hundred percent. All right. Give me the ones I have claims on. Thank you. Sixty-two. That'll be exactly what I expected. Ninety-two over extension. Very good. So this is sort of a problem because. I already have some overextension thanks to Wallace. We can't declare war on Switzerland. Oh, do we even not have a CV? No, he's still the wrong religion, so we can still declare war for that. Cleansing of heresy, yeah. He still is the wrong religion, so that's fine. Um, hmm. When's our truce up? Three years. You know what? I guess we can hold on to this war for a while. Can't hurt. Maybe we can go make Sean do something. Oh, he's got rebels. Lol, lol. Noble rebels. Yeah, we'll just let rebels take him over. So we don't need to peace out yet. We'll just hold on to the war. Here, kill that guy and then come back. Wait until it's almost time to go to war with um, Switzerland. Actually, we could go to war with Spain right now. Now might be a good time. Because he's busy. He is busy. Oh, I have a claim on Girona? When did I ever get a claim on Girona? It must have been an event. Hmm. Alright, Spain, bring it. You jerk. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go stand in my... Oh, I need access to France. Oh, that's fine. Portugal has joined. Netherlands dishonored. God damn it. I can't get that province if the Netherlands ain't going to join the war. That's okay. Undock the navy. Let us kick some bootay. Panel Seed, Sanshing, Kozuki, Kanza, Echigo, Musashi, and Suraga. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a lot of Japan that, that Portugal owns now. I assume Spain will also peace out soon. Probably. Alright, let's get access over here through Francie Pants. Francie Pants. Oh, we could go steal Portuguese colonies. That's true. Uh, and now that uh, we're at war, we don't have to worry about the fog of war. We can just march on over there and see what's up. So let's take you guys. Come on. I know you're there. There you go. And let's take you over here. And first come up here, and then I want you to invade that way. Uh, Manchu. I will need access through the Manchu. Did I get access through France? I think so. No, I didn't. God damn it, I need access to France. I need access to France and Manchu. Here, come back from the Netherlands. Don't care about that. Oh, France already accepted. Okay, good. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am very much an idiot. So you guys can come up here. We'll go through Manchu, and we'll use that to uh, attack Portugal over here. Malwa is westernizing. Yeah, India is westernizing. That's a fact. Uh, do I want to attack him? No, I think I should prioritize up here, because I don't really care what he does to Korea. Oh, I don't even need access through Manchu. I can go through... Oh, nah, whatever. Go through Manchu, it's fine. It's a much shorter distance. There, yeah. 
Uh, okay, so now we have access to France. Dun, dun, dun. Go to Aragon. You go to Barcelona. You go to Perenio. Uh, let's bring down these four as well. Yo, these four. Okay. Come on down to Navarra. We'll put like 50k there, 60k there, and then bring the rest to Girona. Okay. Because Spain won't have a ton of troops home here. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, we engaged his trade fleet. Lol, lol, lol. Yes, I have more trade ships than you right now. At least on this node. In fact, we have quite a few trade ships on this node. I would venture a guess that 107 is a lot of trade ships. Compared to whatever the fuck you have. Wow. Korea is actually doing fairly well against this 12 stack of Portuguese. That's impressive. Unexpected. Oh, and I have 39 more troops down here. I didn't even notice that. Good. Uh, let's get you a general. And let's go kick some butt. Actually, it looks like he's going to drop off troops right here. Yeah. Let's be there when he arrives. 18. Yeah, we'll get there in time. Good. We have some spare diplomats now. So... I do want to steal some Portuguese colonies, so I don't want to piece them out too early. And look, there's so much shit in there. Did anyone else join? Nope. Just Portugal and Spain. Okay. Um, it's fine. France is fine. Go to Milan. Make them happy for a change. I don't think we've ever improved relations with Milan. We've always been aggressive towards them. What about some Hesse? Hesse is nowhere close. Uh, Baden. Do Baden. Why not? And we can do Switzerland, too, because negative 121 is not a good place to be. Delhi has declared war on Hindustan. Good. The smaller Hindustan gets, the more land we can take from them, or the more land we can give to them when... Um, oh, yeah, make sure you have a general. The more land we can give to them when we vassalize them. At least that's the plan. Now he's brought uh, some more trade ships, so let's go over here to the channel and actually have a nice fight. There's more trade ships on the way. Oh, he killed my fleet before I could get there. God damn it. I should try to group up our navies, actually. Let us come down here and group up. Crush them in Alicante. Very good. Uh, you guys can stay there. We'll just stay here. We'll keep our troops, yeah, close together like this. Why don't you guys go to Perennio and stay? Oh, I don't have access to them. Fine. Go to Perennio like that. Just be a little backup. And you can march on through to Barcelona. Perfect. We'll have like a couple hundred thousand guys just chilling. Just chilling. Okay, crush that 20, 20 stack. Good. Looks like Portugal's trying to run away, but I think with those large ships, he won't be able to outrun us. Uh, he has six large ships, which are very slow moving, so we should be able to catch him, maybe here. Maybe maybe finished her bay, whatever. It was actually not engaging. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Why don't we group up and we'll engage on our terms rather than his terms? It's fine. Hmm. Oh, bulb time. Sure, go ahead and get that very last defensive idea for negative 25% attrition. Very nice. I like that. And we also get uh, more attrition for our enemies. Yeah, less attrition for us is very good. Okay, how are we on attacking that army over there? 
Oh, it looks like they landed on our face and then they died. Holy shit, he's got 42k up here? Wow. Here, let's meet up in Hamhyong and then we'll march north. But I think he's going to come straight for my colony. I think he's going to burn my colony. Fuck. Well, we'll do what we can, but I think we're going to be too late to the party. No, he's actually sieging. Oh, okay. That's fine. Siege away. All right, here we go. Here's a battle for you. And he crushed. Nice. The Crushinator. Here, why don't you come up there? And you can come up here, and we'll try to merge on his face with our feet and our guns. Oh, he's moving now. Oh, shit, he's going over here. So. Oh, he's not going to catch me. He's not going to catch me. Why are they going that way? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm a little clueless why he's going that way. Um, I don't know. Keep doing the difficult provinces, please. Yeah, Spain has not pieced out Japan yet. I guess he's going for 100% coverage. It's fine by me. Wow, he just took like 4k attrition just walking over there. That's pretty awesome. Actually, why don't you go to Hulunbir and uh, we'll try to pinch him in, I guess? Oh, now he's coming back to Saghalan Ola. Hmm. He's arriving on next month on the 1st. Let's see if we can't time it so that we get there about the same time that he does. Let's slow down to speed 3. Okay. Ming is bankrupt. I don't care. So he's arriving tomorrow. Can we get there before he leaves? We're going to arrive on the 24th. He's not moving. All right, looks like he wants to party. Speed back up. Yeah, he's not leaving. We have a negative one, but that should be fine. We have way more discipline and way more morale. This should be easy. Oh yeah, fucking slaughter. Well, we, we are losing two guys every day. 2,000 guys every day, but no, we're okay. Uh, follow him. I don't know where he's going, but follow him. I want to crush that stack. That's a stack of 42K. I want it dead. And I'm going to steal his colonies if I can. Oh, he's retreating into the cloud? Yeah, he's retreating up to Jugger. Alright, we'll meet you there, bro. In fact, I may have an army there before he gets there. Nope, my army arrives on the 6th of February. Fuck. Yeah, anytime you walk into fog, it takes a long time. I mean a long time. Fuck, there's revolutionaries over here. Um... You know what? I'm going to dodge his rebels. Yeah, he has no rebels there. I'm going to dodge his rebels. And we're going to go kick some butt. It's going to be another two and a half months before we arrive in Jugger with these two armies. And he's already there. Isn't that amazing how quickly he gets there? He's probably going to go to Stanovoy and kill my stupid stack. Oh, he's already gone. Uh, but it's not even a colony anymore. Alright, we'll leave the 5k. Um, let me send one army that way, and one army... I don't know where he is, but we'll find him. He's already left. I mean, that's how, that's how slow it is to walk through fog. He's already gone. Oh, crap. Oh, Rebel Sentiment is gone. Good. No one ever liked that anyway. Hey, we finished our colony. Cool. 
Uh, I wish I could see this province so I could colonize it, but I can't see shit, Captain. So, maybe come over here and colonize there? Might as well. We can't actually colonize it. Why not? It says, oh, is this one of those bugs where I have to load the save file? I think it is. Uh, obviously it touches... Yeah, I can't even colonize these. What the fuck, game? Maybe end of the month? No, it's not gonna work. I remember encountering this bug earlier in this game. Shoot, that's such a stupid bug. And this is not a colony either, so he has no colonies? Oh, there is a border to the north. Yeah, I just can't colonize. It's broken. It is broken. Darn it. Sad part is, it's going to take us so long to find, to find his army that he'll be at completely full morale and full numbers by the time we find him. Guaranteed. There's no way we can find him because of the fog. And I'm probably going to have to save and load the save before I can colonize again. Here comes the end of the month. Yeah, I still can't save. All right, why don't we call this an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Uh, we'll go get this province sieged back, and then we'll kill these rebels. And uh, we'll try to find Portugal's army. It's an army of like 42k. So I'm a little concerned that they might just come up behind me at some point and just be total douche nozzles. But hasn't happened yet, so maybe it won't happen. Who knows? In any case, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.